Hey Capricorn, it's Goddess Puff and welcome to your reading. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Capricorn. What is going on with my Capricorn? Because it's very moment in time. What does Capricorn need to know? Thank you, Spirit. All right, we have the Veil 41. So in the next couple days, day or two, the veil is obviously going to be very thin with that super full moon. With altar, definitely do some spell work. It's going to be... And then with the candle, make sure you have that uh, some candles on you, some altar candles. And then greet the darkness. So I get that you're supposed to get at least one altar candle. Sit in the dark. Take it as you will. This is just how I'm seeing it. Or you don't even have to sit in the dark. Just let that candle burn until it's completely out. Don't try to like relight it. If it blows out, don't try to relight it. Because I'm getting that you're supposed to let that candle burn either till it goes out or it's blown out. By one force or another. And it tells you to greet the darkness. Whichever comes first. Over on G is literally ritual 33 with candles all in freaking candles so i feel like it definitely has something to do with doing it at night and doing it in the the light of a candle like so you do have to cut off the lights in your home if you're going to do this make sure no tv no lights no nothing is on just the light of your candle because you're definitely meant to be doing spell work in the next couple of days next day or two for this super full moon Let's get into the tarot and see what this is exactly for Capricorn. What message do you have for my Capricorns at this very moment in time? What does Capricorn need to know? Thank you, Spirit. Alrighty, we have the Nine of Cups, your wish fulfillment. So whatever you do, it's going to work. You're going to get exactly what you want. Whatever spell work you've done or planning to do for this um, super full moon, you're going to get exactly what you want. Yeah, 10 of pentacles. So a lot of you wished for wealth, inheritance, either you're wanting your inheritance to be released to you, money that you are owed, or um, creating your own gener generational wealth to pass down. It's going to come true. So whatever money magic you've done it's it's gonna come true almost immediately yet four of cups you're gonna get the window of opportunity something to do with the um four candles as well you're gonna get the grand opportunity eight of swords when it says greet the darkness so i feel like you're you're anxious that's why i was treading lightly when i was telling you to cut off your lights a lot of you are afraid of the dark or you're gonna be scared when these candles blow out. Cause you're only meant to use the light of a candle when you're doing some type of spell. And when those candles go out, you are meant to sit in that darkness for a little while. So um, regardless of whatever part you, you, the candles blow out in the spell, you know, once you don't need the light anymore, of course, just let it be out and continue the spell in the darkness or sit in that darkness for a little bit. I feel like it brings you anxiety to do so. Also, the darkness could just be the unknown. It makes you nervous. Overall energy is the king of swords. Could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You could be taking on that energy yourself. I feel like you should be more blunt at this time, more straightforward. Stop trying to save people's feelings because um, you just end up wasting everyone's time. Because I feel like lately you've been saving people's feelings to be nice, even though like you inevitably have to tell them the truth anyway. All right, so I'm going to read this because this card is extremely important for your reading. Here where the spine bends and the mouth quiver. Oh my God, I'm going to start over. <laughs> Here where the spine bends and the mouth quivers. Breathe the hidden, the spine. Pieces that make you whole but cut deep with all their sharp edges. So yeah, facing your fears pretty much. 
And I feel like it has something to do with the darkness. Only using candlelight. And sitting with it when that light goes out. That is significant for your money magic and candle work that you should be doing. With ritual, I feel like you should write your own spell. It does not have to be long. It could be a sentence or two. Especially for this uh, super full moon. Because I feel like your money magic is going to happen almost instantly. If you got your own business, the bookings are going to be coming in left and right. Like every, your phone's going to be pinging. I'm literally hearing someone's phone ping back to back to back. It's almost like orders, like 10, 20 orders have been backed up. But you doing the spell fixes your service or something. And all of a sudden, like 20, like ding, 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 ding. Like I'm seeing that for someone's phone, all these freaking bookings and orders are going to start going off. The moment these candles go out, you have to sit in that darkness. Yeah, and that King of Swords energy again. I feel like you should just be very direct with people. Just cut to the chase. It doesn't mean be mean. Being direct and being mean are not the same thing. Just don't waste anybody's time. Just be honest. All right? Don't lie to save anyone's feelings. I feel like that's significant to whatever this is. So I feel like it's more so not to waste anyone's time. Because again, you inevitably have to tell that person the truth anyway. All right, clarify this for Capricorn. Clarify this message for Capricorn. Please, Spirit, clarify this message for Capricorn. Please, Spirit. Clarifying the Nine of Cups is the Knight of Wands. Your wish fulfillment is to be free. Three of Wands. Okay, yeah, you want to be your own, you want to be your own boss. And possibly travel. Take your business all over. Or make it global. Yeah, I feel like you wish to be free and all your ships come in. Because I feel like there is something like a ball and chain, something tying you down or blocking you. Because that's what I was saying earlier. It's like you do the spell work and somehow it releases or removes a blockage permanently. That was in your way. And all of a sudden, everything you want just starts to rain in. And you're also filled with this energy, this Knight of Wands energy, ready to start a business or another business or take off or restart a business. You have that Knight of Wands energy when it comes to your business. You're all in. That's what you've been wanting and now you're getting it. So you're getting the energy you need for work. And all your ships are coming in. All these orders are coming in. All these bookings, clients, everything. So if you've been doing any kind of, of again, money work or energy magic, whatever, it's all coming to fruition. Clarifying the Ten of Pentacles is the moon card. Pisces. And I felt this for that super full moon. I'm getting that it's literally as soon as the candle blows out. So let me write that down. That's when everything starts. Death card, Scorpio, major change to your inheritance. I feel like they're being released to you. I just keep getting... This block is removed. Whatever spell work you do, especially if you have an altar or you should make one. Whatever spell work you do at this altar, it's going to remove whatever block there was on your inheritance and wealth and your business. Clarifying the four cups is the eight of pentacles. Yes, you're going to start working. You're going to have so many bookings. I feel like you're going to get a job offered to you. I don't know if you're an independent contractor or what. But you get a job offered to you and you take it and it opens so many freaking doors for you. Yes, Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. You're going to, I feel like also if you've been burned out, you're about to get the energy back with that Knight of Wands and Nine of Cups wish fulfillment. You wish for more energy or you wish for more bookings, more work. You're going to get that. Clarifying the Eight of Swords is the Page of Pentacles an idea. So you're anxious about this idea because it's unknown. I feel like you're not used to being like working for yourself or whatever this idea is. It's scary for you because you've never done it before and you don't know how it's going to turn out. 
it's going to work out well. Eight, I mean, six of pentacles, whatever you put into this new job, new business venture, new idea, you are going to get it back. So if you put in the eight of pentacles and the nine of pentacles, which is both of the cards are the same, it's hard work every day on the same schedule. You just work, 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 work your ass off. You're going to get it back. Six of pentacles. So there's nothing to worry about when it comes to this. Over on the page of swords. So study all there is that you need to know about this before you jump into it. Of course, I feel like you are, but I feel like this is more so an air sign is watching you do all this. They want to hire you, offer you a job or recruit you. So there's a Virgo Taurus Capricorn who's watching and they like what they see. Now with the death card and the moon card, someone secretly going to remove a blockage or secretly a blockage is removed for you. Just know that there's an air sign watching you. I feel like the air sign could be the one to remove this in the background. Again, if it's not an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, it's either a Pisces or Scorpio. Someone is watching you like work your ass off and they're very, um, they're very happy, very pleased. Everything goes in your favor. I feel like this air sign makes you this offer, but I'm gonna leave it there. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share if you're interested in booking a personal reading. All my information is in the description box below, as well as my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry. Her Etsy link is in the description box below, as well. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.